just to tell you there is something called Alzheimer's. So she is my wife, my wife is here. So I forget who she is, whether I'm married or not. So who are you? I don't know. When it happens in small space of time, half an hour I forget. And then that keeps increasing. I don't know who I am and I don't know where my surroundings are. And this is Alzheimer's. So when you just forget, when you lose yourself. Uh, that means you do not know, you do not know that you exist sometimes. You are in your house and you think you are in some new place. So all these are broken memories of your and you are trying to manage that and then this disease keeps increasing. And at the end of the day you do not know who you are and you don't exist in your own domains. And this is the ultimate form of any disease that you can think of. And now, in America and Europe, and even in Japan and uh, China, the number has already touched. 8 to 12 percent of people have this Alzheimer's. 8 percent of people out of, means 8 out of 100 are in this kind of conditions. And then there are other diseases, Parkinson's and luck paralysis and all these associated nervous disorders, nervous disabilities and named a lot of different uh, terminologies. You know, you keep segregating and saying this is that, that is this, this is this, minute details and then you have an expert for this, you have another expert for this, you have another expert for this. And it's all these business models that are throwing up all these things. But ultimately the simple thing is there are thousands of people who cannot hold their urine and that's why we have attached bathrooms all over the world. So where you sleep, you have a toilet, which is the most unhygienic thing to do. So you're sleeping where you are going to shit and urinate. That's the kind of world we have built in. So we have built attached bathrooms in our bedrooms. That's all actually I have to tell about the condition of human beings. Are you getting the point? Are you getting the point? Yes. Yeah. So, starting from that kind of problems, we have reached a state of non-existence. And all these things are in between. And I am not talking about cancer, diabetes, gangrene, rheumatism, heart blocks and uh, dialysis patients where kidney is not functioning, liver cirrhosis, liver is going away from your total totality of the system. And, uh, so these are all the diseases that we have been struggling with but then the new form of diseases deep into the nervous system and the production of blood where you have bone marrow and then the blood is getting generated every three months, new blood cells and all that. All these systems are going haywire. We are finding problems with this deep rooted systems of human existence. And the thing is little beyond that nowadays because we are producing 28% of kids being born as ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive diseases. It's all in a big block, then we call it differently abled, autistic, uh, all kinds of names we are finding to describe these conditions. Ultimately what it means is that it is not good enough for us being nervously disabled to have non-functional issues. We have transmitted it to the next generations, even before they are born. We have their CPUs not being all right. You understand CPU? Well, software is central processing unit is going on. The nerve system itself, while being generated, that is from the ova to the embryo, and then existence into a form of human being. This process itself, being built, is not getting right. We are not getting it right. Twenty-eight out of hundred. This is something beyond 
the disease condition. And there are a lot of kids now born with the hearts being not being built properly. They have holes, the lower part, upper part, near the valves and various problems. And there are kids who turn the left, they become blue. And they turn them this side, they are okay. This kind of very subtle problems are creeping in in the being born kids. So that means it is not that we are talking about diseases. <laughs> we are talking something beyond that. That a living thing wants to have its progeny born and functionally well. But then we are managing to even disturb that. In the last 25 years or so, this was not the case, say, 200 years ago, or even 150 years ago. So the problems are not just getting out of diabetic condition or cancerous condition or autoimmune diseases. It is another phase of diseased conditions in the system. Autoimmune diseases, like SME, HIV, rheumatic conditions, arthritic conditions, and uh, the system getting extended to depositing where there should not be any deposits, or sclerosis. So all these new uh, issues are cropping up in the last 15, 20 years. So many things that I am speaking, people who have not got the issues in their lives uh, feels like this guy is rambling something. But then the problem would have been so simple if I only rambling. The problem is not that what I am talking is not rambling because the diseases are now being found in younger and younger and younger people. Before, the prostate gland inflammation used to occur at the age of 50 or 60 and then we used to find old people not able to control their urine, searching for a toilet immediately. But now it is 25 year olds, 30 year olds are also struggling with this problem. So you sleep in the night, you are getting up five times before you get the day. These are nonsense problems. And sorry to say, the Western world has found a solution attaching catheters and plastic bags to their thighs. 21% of people are roaming around on the streets with this condition in America and Europe. And it's not very different in big cities of India too. It has come to 16% And the age is decreased. And 40 people, age of 40 people are also finding themselves in this count. And sadly, 3-year-olds, 6-year-olds, 10-year-olds are becoming diabetic, cancerous, HIV, SME. And I don't want to scare myself and others saying that so-called progressive diseases like DMD, muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis, MND. These are so-called progressive diseases that are very rare. I mean, one in 10 lakh, one in million, something like that. Even that, numbers are increasing. That there are people... I just morning I had a session in a Telugu speaking area of Mumbai. I had seen two muscular dystrophy patients. There were only 1,000 people. You see the number? Now it, it, it has to be in one in million. Now I have thousand people gathering, I have two such cases. This is scary. And this is scary. So all these things are happening in the human history in the last 40, 50 years. And we are claiming the last 40 50 years are really the golden era of scientific progress and development. 
especially last 10 years. We have now got everything under our palms and we can switch a button and things happen. Boom! Be it a blast or be it a racket, be it a missile or... You see what I'm talking? So, all these things are happening.